Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode to Seth Valen. Joined with Sophie Wee Wee. Hey. Yeah, Wee Wee. Bro, why you look traumatized? <laughs> I'm just had enough of quarantine. I'm kind of like. Oh, yeah, that's why we're separate. Because oh. we're in quarantine. Day 12 on quarantine, no sun. I'm getting pale. I'm becoming a vampire. No lighting in these videos. And you're not allowed to leave the room or. Yeah, we can't. I can't even open my window. No, that's terrible. It's terrible. It's really funny though because random people walk by and wave at me. I think they're not in quarantine and they're just like. Oh, really? Oh, at least you have like social interaction with outside people. I see like <laughs> a concrete wall. That's right. We have Sophie Wee Wee joining us. And today, what are we doing today? Today, I will try and show you the most difficult piano pieces. We'll try to break it down to five, but it's more like five categories. Mm. I have to say this was really difficult because <laughs> to say what is difficult, it's so relative. And I feel like on the piano, it's even harder to say than on the violin because, you know, on the violin, everyone knows Sibelius third movement is difficult or pack five if you That's do the right. original Boeing. It's difficult. On the piano, there are things like repetitive octaves that some people just can do very easily and other people just can't no matter how much they practice and that doesn't mean that they like <laughs> have bad technique or something but also not only technical difficulties like playing a slow movement of a mozart sonata or concerto extremely well is often harder than playing a flashy list piece with like a flashy list piece if you practice 40 hours a day you'll get it at some point yeah okay. but Whoa, for like okay. a mozart slow movement for example if you don't know what you're looking for the 40 hours won't help you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it requires intellectual musical difficulty as well artistic difficulty okay so my first category is of course Liszt who is on the piano probably like Paganini on the violin it's about the opera Don Giovanni by Mozart and it's one of the most difficult pieces by Liszt it just gets harder and harder towards the end it has everything it has runs octaves double thirds it's the kind of piece that has some places and passages that are basically unplayable and you have to arrange a little bit or Maybe I shouldn't say this, but leave out a note or two where you don't <laughs> hear it otherwise. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> secrets. very difficult about this passage is that it's supposed to sound very light and easy even but there are so many notes to play at the same time like the left hand they're all tenths jumping it made it sound so easy though yeah and that's kind of the point of it it shouldn't sound hard but it is it's very difficult that's crazy and actually i played this piece there's also a version for two pianos which i just played with my sister and it's also insanely difficult but a lot of these places are separated to two people whereas in the solo piece one person has to play everything wow for example also the end i love this ending it's like bang! yeah dude that's like Finishing a marathon or something like that level of intensity. It is kind of like a marathon. You have to be Smart at the beginning and not give everything so that you have enough, you know, strength and endurance to <laughs> go to the end Dude, that was insane It's not even 15 notes a second, it's like 50. Yeah, because piano plays like multiple notes at once Okay, so this also in the category of list because you had it in your violin hardest pieces video the Erkönig transcription. There's also one on the piano. Damn. And I'll just show you the beginning of Yuja playing it. It's four and a half minutes just repetitive.
Yeah, so that goes on for four and a half minutes. And even now in the soft part, this repetitiveness goes on. So you really have to be extremely loose and have the right movement. Otherwise you're dead after four I was going to say, how does she do that movement? I think if you watch it, she doesn't like in one place go like this. She goes a little bit in front and uh -huh, back. Uh -huh, and... Uh -huh. Damn. But because if you yeah. try to be like this, you won't make it. You get injured, right? Yeah. Yeah, and if you're tense, you're already lost. So. Can you play Okonik, yeah. Sophie? Wee oui, wee. Oui. I haven't played it yet, but I want to for sure. For well, forty I hours, and you can. Sure. <laughs> it would only if you do it the movement right, because if you don't, then you'll kill yourself in forty hours. <laughs> so the next categories is sonatas, which is really hard because there are a lot of big piano sonatas that are really difficult, like. I don't know, Prokofiev, five or seven, Liszt Sonata, Brahms Sonata. And here I've chosen two, the Beethoven, Opus 106, the Hammer Klavier Sonate, which is equally technically and musically very difficult because it's hard to understand the piece sometimes when you're listening musically and it's also it's so long and technically on top of it. It was at the time probably the hardest piece there was. So even at the beginning, huge chords that I don't even think I can really reach that well. <laughs> yeah, pretty, like, you don't have small hands, right? No, I don't have small hands, but... Damn, and even you find it hard to reach. Yeah. What, what about someone with small hands? What do they do? <laughs> um... Just give up, you can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can arrange some things that you take like an extra note in the left hand or something or the oh. other way around or you roll a chord but that's a problem with a lot of Rachmaninoff pieces because he had so such huge hands like the beginning of the second concerto I can't reach all the chords my sister can but I can't so I'd oh. have to roll them or Oh, wow. But what, what can you do? So this Hammer Klavier Sonata is definitely sort of a milestone piece in the piano repertoire. If you tell people I'm playing Hammer Klavier Sonata, it's like, ooh, wow. Ooh. That's like a flex. What are you learning for first year rep? Hammer Klavier. Ooh. Like at the Beethoven competition in Vienna, there's like certain pieces with stars on them, which are considered you know, difficult, and th that's one of them. Damn. It's a star ranking. It's a premium piece. Yeah, premium Beethoven. Dude, this list is Sophie's premium list. This next sonata, I chose this because the beginning is extremely simple and therefore really difficult. This is Akadi Volodos. I actually heard him like two weeks ago in Vienna and he played this piece. Wow. And starting with the first chord, I knew this was going to be amazing. Yeah, so this, you know, simple theme comes so often in this first movement of the sonata. And it's really difficult, you know, you have to voice it perfectly. The sound quality has to be like magical. It has to be all in one phrase because if you just play chords, everyone's going to be like, huh? <laughs> huh? I can't imagine. I can imagine. It's just Sophie listening to someone that didn't phrase it properly. Huh? huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing pianists have to deal with that we don't deal with as much, which is like every note you play at once has to be balanced yeah. perfectly, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a yeah. chef getting the flavor proportions right. Damn. Yeah, that's true. You can't just 
play them all the same. There are like thousands different ways how you can press a key and I mean because if you listen to this beginning it's obviously not technically difficult and anyone who's not a musician would say that's you know that's easy but it's in fact probably one of the hardest things to do. It's all about the touch. Yeah touch is important. So now people say this is the most difficult piece ever written for piano or these two are the most oh. difficult technically pieces Really? Ever written for piano. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Okay, this is a piece called Isla May from the composer Balakirev. I don't exactly know how it got to have this status, but like everyone knows this is supposed to be the most difficult piece on the piano. Yeah, the people thought that the piece was over because it was so... It's like only two minutes in. <laughs> yeah. It was so impressive. They're yes. like, whoa! I mean, I almost don't blame them though. Like, yeah. you would want to clap after hearing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. A lot of jumps, a lot of notes to play. Very effectful, so... And then, as an answer to this piece, Ravel wanted to compose a piece that is even more difficult than Ooh. this one. Really? Ravel! Oh, going for it! Yeah, so that was the famous beginning of this Scalable movement. And I think it's very difficult because, especially where I stopped you know, this passage, everything is very close together, a lot of repetitive notes, and it's very hard to play very precisely. And because there's just so much you have to, you know, so many notes to play, and you're kind of like <laughs> in your own way sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's like the hands are like... That's true. Violin is like some chords, right? where you have to like tuck like three True, fifths. Yeah. It's also like really awkward. Yeah. yeah. Where some yeah. chords fit really easily, right? Uh -huh. In the description of the YouTube video, it said that she learned this piece in one week because nobody told her that it was difficult. <laughs> oh wow, what a flex. But I guess you do approach a piece differently if you don't, like if everyone tells you, oh, this is the most difficult piece ever, uh -huh. then if you just don't know and just approach it as, but then again, you are Martha Argerich, right? Yeah, and she can do anything, so... <laughs> I've always found it funny that repeated notes are so hard to play on the piano. Because it's the easiest thing on the violin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you never know what kind of piano you will get in the concert. There are some that go easier or go harder, and you need to find oh, this one point where the key comes up and you hear the note again, because it can happen easily that you repeat it, but you don't hear it because the key is still pressed down yeah. too much and when it's very fast it's hard to control sometimes and you have to be really good at adjusting to whatever piano you have all right let's move on nice the famous um goldberg variations by bach oh. i chose this because it's probably mentally one of the hardest pieces to perform it's also sort of like a milestone piece like because i mean it takes over one hour and <laughs> 
is <laughs> a lot of the same harmonies and because they're variations it's mentally very difficult also to play by heart. Is it difficult because it's hard to stay awake while playing it? <laughs> Ling Ling Insurance! Insurance! <laughs> 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 so I mean, it's like, I'm not impressed by it. Didn't he write the Goldberg because some guy had insomnia and couldn't sleep? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So. That was a joke. But yeah, I, it was a the joke. Audience it was a joke. Maybe shouldn't. <laughs> the audience probably shouldn't fall asleep. That's also hard. How do you play them so amazingly well that the audience doesn't fall asleep? So that's obviously the the theme. Brett's falling asleep. And yeah, I see. <laughs> there is a very fine line to, you know, when you start this piece, is it boring so that everyone falls asleep? Or is it so amazingly well played that you have to listen to every note? And that's really hard, I think. Can you can you play like really bad so they stay awake? Yeah, I don't know if that should be your goal, but <laughs> you can try. <laughs> no, it, is, it does sound very, very beautiful though. Yeah, and it's also hard because a lot of people that sit in the audience, they know this will take over an hour now, so... <laughs> if, if it starts... And <laughs> it's like starting a movie that sucks. You know, starting a cinema for two hours. That's true, yeah. Would you say it's a gold star piece as well? The Goldberg variation? Yeah, for sure. There's one more category. Concertos. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to guess. I want to guess. Can we guess what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sophie's hardest concerto. Is. Okay, okay. Um, is it one concerto that you picked? There are two, but again, very different kinds of difficulties. I'm gonna guess. List. Rachmaninoff. Yeah, Rachmaninoff is one of them. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know where to stop. That's so <laughs> epic. I just want to keep listening to it. Yeah, me too. It's all like, should I stop here? Should I stop here? Wow. Yeah, it's very Rack difficult, amazing piece. Also, Yefim Bronfman, I love him. He has such an amazing big sound and you never have the feeling he's like destroying the piano even though yeah. it's so loud. Well, what do you think is the hardest thing about Rachmaninoff? Apart from big well, Big hands, a lot of notes. Also, what's difficult with concertos playing with huge symphony orchestras is that you're actually heard, which That's sometimes true. you're in the audience and the pianist is like giving <laughs> everything and you don't hear anything. That's also a tricky question how you make that happen because just playing as loud as you can isn't always the answer. It has to like resonate, then you actually hear it better. Nice, nice. The lucky last. Okay, so this last one, you might ask why this is in the most difficult pieces list for me. It's um, Beethoven Concerto Number no. 4, which I think is very tricky musically and also technically, but this beginning, it sounds like the most simple thing ever, but it's, for a lot of pianists, this is the most tricky beginning of a concerto because you're all alone 
you start with this G major chord and it has to sound like, I don't know, this is the whole universe or this magical moment. The voicing has to be great, the phrasing and like the whole piece depends on this beginning. If you didn't get it right, what comes after doesn't make sense. Before. Yeah, me I too. Now. Yeah, really? this is epic. I love this piece. When she started, I was like, oh, it, oh, oh, it's gonna yeah. start. <laughs> it, she took so much time also to prepare this first chord. I, I can see what you mean. It's funny actually. I remember after I played it in orchestra, you know, I went home and I tried playing it because it, you know, technically it's just a few notes. So I tried playing it on yeah. the piano, but it just sounded new when I played it. <laughs> At the beginning when I learned it, you know, easy, play that first line, you got it. But then as soon as you start thinking about it, what am I actually doing? It gets so... it's really difficult. It has to be loud enough so that it um, sustains for the length that it has to be and that the next note that comes after it doesn't have an accent and that it's all under one phrase and that you hear all the notes in the chord but that... The <laughs> Yeah, you know, you have all these things going on in your head and then it just has to sound like it's just happening and it's the most simple thing in the world. Funny how it's always like the most simplest parts that it causes the most havoc in the musician's head. Yeah, actually I find like great musicians to me are almost always the most impressive when they play something simple. Yeah. yeah. Because they, they really can flex what they can do with just... It's like Janine's, um, what well, that mm. music video we listened to. Oh, the yeah. The colors that she made was like, what the hell was Yeah, that? so the notes are not hard, yeah. but man, she made it sound like something yeah. else. Yeah, I think every piece that you want to play extremely well is difficult. Or some you yeah. can just learn in a week. It's fine, don't think it's hard, and you're good. <laughs> Scalable, yeah. 50,000 likes and Sophie will learn the Scalable in one week for you guys. No, I'm joking. I'm oh! <laughs> I can try. Can't promise anything. Wow, well there you have it. Thanks so much. Thanks Sophie. <laughs> Pianists, what do you guys think? I'm a violinist. It all sounds pretty difficult to me. So as always, if you want to play that well, first step is to go practice. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah. Can I turn the camera rack man off? Ah. <laughs>